What is being hidden and why? And if I've not been clear, I will be so now. Today, the Senate is not simply phoning in our vetting obligation. We're discarding it. It's not only shameful, it's a sham. I felt on the day when I took my oath of office the first time, 44 years ago, I was told by both the Republican and Democratic leadership of the Senate, people I highly respected, the Senate should be and can be the conscience of the nation. I've represented Vermont here for 44 years. I've served with pride here, believing that the Senate can be and should be the conscience of the nation. Today, with this hearing, it is not being the conscience of the nation. And from the bits and pieces of your record we've received, it appears you provided misleading testimony about your involvement in controversial issues at the Bush White House during your previous confirmation hearings. Misleading testimony. I asked you about these concerns last month, and I want to alert you that I will return to those concerns when you are under oath and I'm asking you questions. What I fear is the American people will not know the full truth until your full record is public, and unfortunately, the Republicans have done their best to ensure that won't happen. So we begin these hearings with gaping holes spanning multiple years of your career, the deeply influenced by your own words, your thinking as a judge. And any claim that this has been a thorough, transparent process is downright Orwellian. This is the most incomplete, most partisan, least transparent vetting for any Supreme Court nominee I have ever seen, and I've seen more of those than any person serving in the Senate today. So Judge Kavanaugh, this hearing is premature. I hope you will use it, though, to answer our questions directly, clearly, and honestly, because the American people have real concerns about how your confirmation will affect their lives. I'll conclude with this. The Supreme Court is a guarantor of our liberties in our republic. Few, I would argue, are worthy of taking a seat. Only those with unimpeachable integrity. Only those who believe that truth is more important than party. Only those who are committed to upholding the rights of all Americans, not just those in power. As you know, inscribed in Vermont marble above the court's entrance are the words equal, equal justice under law. For the millions of Americans fearful that they are on the verge of losing hard-fought rights, that aspiration has never been more important than it is today. Frankly, as a member of the Supreme Court Bar and as a United States Senator, I feel it's never been more at risk. Thank you.